Alright, hey everybody. Uh, welcome back to Gabe Infinity Watch for a special unboxing video. Uh, normally these are videos about my comic book collection and Omnibus and all my really cool great stuff I got back here. But today uh, is going to be the third video. Three. Third video of unboxing for the Nick excuse me, the Nick Box. For those of you that might not know, Nick Box is basically like Loot Crate, but it's put on by Nickelodeon. So it's all exclusive, one of a kind, or not one of a kind, but exclusive only in the box type items from Nickelodeon. And this month, or this quarter, it comes out every three months, four months, quarter, quarter, uh, is going to be Nicktoons. Check out this super sweet box. Uh, it's upside down. Sheesh. All right, so it's gonna be uh, uh, Nicktoons. Uh, Nicktoons Rewind. Nicktoons Rewind is the theme of this box. I love the way this box looks. It all looks like old school cassettes or VHS cassettes. I remember these back in the day. I remember the orange uh, Nickelodeon uh, cassettes from when they used to put out the TV shows. Back in the day, in the '90s, they would put out the TV shows. On uh, VHS cassettes, but it'd be just maybe like just like the movie, like Rugrats movie or the Doug movie or something like that, and it'd be on just these VHS cassettes. Or they did put out episodes; it'd probably be maybe like three or four episodes because you can't fit much on a VHS tape. So either way, let's go ahead and uh, let's dig into this bad boy and see what we got working with um, in this box this time. So. Again, these are just really super cool boxes that I love and enjoy getting uh, every couple of months. It is $50 for the box. That's with shipping and everything like that, I believe. So it's not super killer expensive. Uh, let's kind of take a look here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these items out one at a time and get an idea of, you know, let's see what they got. I haven't seen what's in here yet, uh, so I'm really super excited and I'm going to be surprised with what's in here. Because from the last couple of boxes, if you've seen my other videos, uh, the items they give you are pretty sweet. They're really cool items. Let me fix this camera a little bit. Ooh. That's cool. So it comes with a card that has all the items in it. I don't want to show that yet. I don't want to spoil what's in here. I don't want to spoil what I see yet. Um, I want everything to kind of look cool. So you kind of see what's in here already. Uh, top item here is... This is awesome. This is a really nice shirt. Uh, Rocco's Modern Life shirt. This is sweet. It's like a polo shirt. It's a thick shirt too. Like This is good material. This is great because I can wear this to work. Because at my job, I have to wear like business casual and be all professional, like an adult nonsense like that. Uh, so a cool little polo shirt like this will be worn at my job. I can't wait. Look at that. All the, this is totally a cool Rockwell shirt. Love it. Love it. Love it already. Good stuff. So there's always a, at least one shirt or clothing item in the box. Let's see what else we have in here. There's some cool stuff in here. I just, I just saw some of this stuff in here. Uh, let's kind of get some of the bigger stuff out of the way first. Is vacuum sealed? What is this? It's like a, I can't really quite tell yet. I need to open this up with something. Ooh, it's like a blanket. Feels like a blanket. It's a blanket. Look at that. It's a heifer, heifer wolf blanket. Nice little kind of like throw blanket. Not too thick. This is cool. It's a good size. Like, look how long it is. It's very long. Ah, so that's a good size blanket. Cool. So that's two Rocco's Modern Life out, uh, items in this box already. Oh, 
What else is in here? Uh, Rugrats. This is called Tommy's Ball. It's cool little packaging. Oh, I guess that's what the ball looks like. I love Rugrats. That was such a good show. That's a softball. It's not like a squishy ball or like a squeak toy ball. But that's cool. That looks just like the one on the show. Yeah, uh, Rugrats is such a really fun show. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Nicktoon, but it's probably in my top, like, five. I just love the uh, idea of um, babies who are... who kind of have, like, their own language. Like, parents don't really understand what they're saying, but the babies understand one another. And just the adventures and the kind of character dynamics of that show. So this is a cool ball. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, this is neat. If you're a Hey Arnold fan. Or if you're a fan of, uh, if you relate to Helga Pataki. Here's like her, um, what was it? Like a, uh, like a necklace that she had, right? And when she opened it up, it had a picture of, uh, of Arnold in there. Even though she pretend to hate him so much, she actually loved him. So that's cool. It's like a pillow. Tiny, tiny, like, plushy. That's great. It's a good image of, Arn of Arnold on there, too. And what's cool is I just picked up, um, speaking of Hey Arnold. Um, I've heard two years old. Wow. You didn't oh. gotten there. Cause I, but this was, this was like four or five years ago when I was first studying to be what I do for I'd be able to start automatically. Uh, shout out to uh, Hardcover Reviews. I was on his Q&A show earlier this morning. And that's what that was. That's just started playing automatically. But, uh, hey Arnold, speaking of, like I said, I just got the uh, the full series DVD set. But we're not here or there about that. This is all about the Nick box. Let me fix this camera a little bit. Cool. All right. Uh, a couple of cool small items in here. Uh, Wild Thornberry stickers. I was never much of a Wild Thornberries uh, person. I don't remember that show very well. I don't know if it was just the art style that kind of turned me off or what, but um, the few episodes I did see and the movie I really enjoyed, so I should probably go back and revisit that. Same with, oh, there's a lot of stickers. A lot of stickers in this box. We've got uh, Rocket Power. Ooh, Cat Dog. Cat Dog's one of my favorites, too. That's a good show. And, uh, ooh, Two Angry Beavers. Or not Two uh, It's called Angry Beavers, just Angry Beavers. I was thinking Two Stupid Dogs. But nope, this is Angry Beaver stickers. I love Dag and Norbit. Cool stickers. Uh, what else is here? Some big items left in here. Ooh, look at that. Powdered Toast Man uh, sandwich container. Take my sandwiches to work in this. And everybody will look at me like I'm weird. They think I'm a child because I have Ren and Stimpy. I'll be wearing my Rocco shirt, eating my sandwich that was held in my Powdered Toast Man. Too bad the back is in like a butt. Remember in the show and Ren and Stimpy, they had to hold onto his butt when he was flying? That's cool. It's practical. These are kind of some, you know, that's a practical item. Uh, ooh, what's this? Socks. Rocco's Modern Life Socks? I have no idea what this is. One size fits all Rocco's Modern Life Socks. But I don't, I don't get the image. What is that? Is that just socks of socks? I'm kind of lost on this. Hmm. This is a very Rocco Modern Life uh, heavy, heavy item or uh, Nick box this time around. Again, let's say what our third uh, Hey Arnold, not Hey Arnold, our third Rocco uh, item. I have no idea what this is. I know it sucks, duh, but I just don't understand what the image is of. Hmm. All right. Well, that's cool. I'll wear them. Uh, what else is in here? Ooh, oh, this is cool. Uh, Ren and Stimpy, uh, enamel pin sets. That's way cool. You got a, you got Stimpy, 
you got Ren, and you got a uh, log and a tuxedo with a martini glass. That is cool. That's a cool item. Good stuff right there. Uh, what else is in here? All right, there's only a few more items left. This is another sticker. Oh, it's a vinyl decal that sticks to most surfaces of all real monsters. So you got Ickis, Crum, and Oblina. And I think they're suggesting, I don't know if you can see it, that you put it under your toilet seat. That's cool. That's another good show. I liked All Real Monsters. Um, I think All Real Monsters might have inspired like uh, Monsters Inc. The kind of the idea of a monster society and stuff like that. And the last item, this thing that's cool. I kind of saved it for last when I opened it. I want to talk about it last. Uh, it's cool, Filbert vinyl. Let's get this box out. Let me open this up. This is really neat. So this is a cool Filbert vinyl from again Rocco's Modern Life. This is a super heavy Rocco uh, box, but I'm Rocco's definitely one of my favorites. Probably like my uh, top two. Between Rocco and Doug, I think Rocco's like one of my favorite shows from Nicktoons. So I'm happy getting more items. Let's take this out of the box. I like the box. It's cool. Very, very much in style of the show. The artwork on that. Oh, it's Filbert as a... Uh, I think it's the episodes when he was doing like karaoke and it was like a crooner. That's a cool piece. I love the paint job on it. Look how neat he is. Look at him with his hair. If I had hair, I would not comb it that way. But I'm also not a karaoke kind of person. That's neat. That's a good item right there. I'm going to keep that on my desk. Cool. So that's basically it. So we got, uh, let's kind of run down everything again real fast. We got the uh, sticker set. Of course, uh, Filbert vinyl. Uh, Avril Monsters decal set to put on the toilet, apparently. Hey Arnold, little plushie, powdered toast man, sandwich container, Ren and Stimpy button. So that's two Ren and Stimpy items. Uh, Tommy's ball from Rugrats. Rocco's modern life socks that I'm not sure where it comes from. Are these maybe heifer socks? No, these are Filbert socks. Okay, now I see it. It's Filbert shoes. All right. I solved that mystery. The blanket. The heifer blanket's cool. And the Rocco shirt. That's also cool. So I'm, I'm I love this stuff. Good, good box. Uh, especially if you're a uh, Rocco fan. So if you're a Rocco fan, uh, this is really a good box for you. So, um, I don't know. What else? Well, anyways. So this is the Rocco, uh, Rocco box, practically. Uh, Nick box number three that came out. The first one that came out was Nicktoons. second one was live action Nick. And then we got Nicktoons again called Nicktoons Rewind. There's a lot of neat, cool stuff in it. Um, I like this box a lot. This is probably my favorite box that's came out so far. Just because I'm a big Rocco fan. Um, there's a lot of cool Rocco stuff in here with the shirts and everything like that. Uh, the only thing that I wish, same, I think I say this in every video, I wish there was more Doug stuff. Like, there's not a lot of Doug items. I don't think there has been any Doug items in any of these boxes. So I'm really hoping that they do something. I don't know if it's some kind of licensing thing or they don't think Doug is still relevant or popular with people who were in the Nicktoons at the time, but I would love, love more Doug stuff. So if anybody out there is somehow connected with Nicktoons and this box, please 
Let's get some duck stuff going. Other than that, this stuff is all really cool. I'm definitely going to use that sandwich box. I'm going to wear the socks. I'm going to wear the shirt. Uh, I'll use that blanket every so often. I'm good. So, anyways, if this is your guys' first time uh, checking out my videos, let me know what you think. Give me some comments down below in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what's up. Um, I'm going to be doing some more comic book videos pretty soon. And I'm thinking about doing some more cartoon-related uh, videos as well. Like I said, I did get the Hey Arnold box set. And I got a lot of, lot of uh, cartoons, especially from the 90s cartoons. I love 90s cartoons. So I was thinking about maybe figuring out some way to do really cool videos for cartoons without getting like sued by showing copyrighted videos or anything like that because I'm not too sure how that works on YouTube with reviews of DVDs and being able to show videos and or even how to get the videos to kind of show up that kind of stuff but anyways I appreciate everybody who's shown up uh subscribers have been blowing up pretty well on here comments and everything like that it is getting a lot a lot of reviews a lot of views on here and stuff like that Ask me some questions. Uh, maybe I'll do a question and answer video. I love doing Q&As. I love when people ask for my opinion because I'm pretty honest about what I feel or how I think about certain things. So if you want some honest uh, opinions about comic books or cartoons or anything like that, let me know. Also, again, shout out to my boy Hardcover Review. Like I said, I did a Q&A video with him. Check that out to kind of see how uh, Q&As would work with me. And any other of my other videos, let me know what's going on, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Game Infinity Watch is out of here. Take care.